you guys asked for it, so it's time. Duty belt review. Eh? <laughs> it's duties. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Not Scott represent! Today I'm rocking the Panama City Beach Life's a Beach Mug. I got it when I visited Panama City Beach, Florida, up in the Panhandle. And I must tell you, the sunsets in Panama City Beach, mm, they are second to none. Mm. Couple quick updates before we get started. I want to give a shout out to my boy Ace Pilot 2K7. You guys should go check him out. He does live streams. Oh. Oh my goodness. All right, they're running. Oh, oh, oh my God. Down on the ground. Yo, he got dragged. Yo, we got Nick in the house. What's going on, Nick? <laughs> Welcome to the stream, brother. He had his subs come over to the channel to give a like and a subscribe. So big shout out to Ace. Thank you very much for that. Guys, since I posted the last video on this channel, the Nod Squad has grown 1,000 subscribers. What? What? <laughs> So with that being said, let's get to what this video is all about. The meat and potatoes, the duty belt review. Before we start, I'm gonna change my clothes because handling this black equipment with the black shirt, you guys probably not gonna be able to see anything. I am a great magician. Your clothes are red! So let me go. Huh. So what I'm gonna do now is set up the belt and explain each item on the belt and why I put it where I put it. And before we get started, one more time, big shout out to Goss for sending us all this stuff so we can do a duty belt review, so I can go airsofting later. Big shout out to them, make sure you go follow them. Link down below. Without them, this duty belt couldn't be possible. I like to start out with my gun just so I know where to put everything else because pretty much everything that you put on your belt is going to be in accordance to where your gun is. One of the most important items on your belt besides your radio. Now on my duty belt at work I try to keep everything clear of my gun side. The only other thing I carry on my gun side is going to be my ASP. Now this side of the duty belt is done. I'm gonna move over to my non-dominant hand. That's gonna be my left side. So when you're starting your duty belt, you wanna start with the item that's gonna be all the way to the rear in the back. So just put that on. Now when I'm wearing my duty belt at work, it's usually my cuffs that are my last thing towards my rear. But since Gaul sent us latex glove pouch, that's gonna be the next item because I'm gonna set that one up all the way to the rear. Next to the latex glove pouch is gonna be my handcuffs. Next set of handcuffs, I like to put my flashlight. Now I didn't get a uh, flashlight holder in the Gauls package that fits my flashlight. I'm just gonna use the one from my duty belt that, I'm, that I got now. Next, next will be the radio holster. Radio holster. We're starting to fill up. Then taser, uh, this taser is the X29. Has two cartridges built in, flashlight. This way you don't have to reload. Uh, in the older models like the X26, they used to have another cartridge that would be attached down here or on your belt and then you would have to actually physically reload, take off and put on the cartridge. This saves time, you just press a button, it switches over to the next cartridge and then it'll shoot out the prongs. In any case, you need to shoot out two taser cartridges in case one prong went in or one missed or there's multiple subjects or whatever case you need to shoot out, this one allows you to do it with just a switch of a button. All right, let's put this one back. And lastly will be the mag pouch, it's a double mag pouch on here. 
All right, and there you have it. There's a setup of the duty belt. Now, there is a ton of gear on here. So when you get everything in there, this, this bad boy weighs a lot. Got my shirt tucked in, so let us don our duty belt. Before you put on your belt, you want to wear one of these. This is what's called an underbelt. This underbelt is pretty much like a Velcro belt. On the inside of your duty belt is the other side of the Velcro. You know how Velcro works. One side sticks to the other. All right, got the underbelt on. Then you're going to throw on the duty belt over the underbelt. Did you hear that? You hear that Velcro sticking on there? Now, I didn't size this one down. Uh, a little big. Gotta size it down. Hold on. All right, that's better. Put this bad boy on real quick. Hear the click, it's in. And there she is. These guys are called belt keepers. These go around your duty belt and around your underbelt. And that's just to keep on your belt safe and secure just in case you get into some kind of tussle or something. You want to make sure that belt is not going anywhere and it's not coming off. So let me put these on real quick. All right, let's get some weight on this belt. Radio, in the radio holster. Double mags. Notice the angle that it, they're being put into the duty belt. You want it slanted towards the gun because when you pull out of the magazine, you, it's already ready to go and be inserted into the magazine well of your gun. So, I mean, you can try it this way, but you'll see that it's, you have to get it out and turn it around. So, quicker, more efficient, slant it down towards the gun. Pull it out, put it in. Okay. Now, I'll try my hardest to keep the small of my back clear because when you're sitting in the police car on doing 10 hour shifts or 12 hour shifts, some departments they do eight hour shifts, well, however long you're sitting in the police car after a while, that will take a toll on your back. Also, if you get into some kind of scuffle and you end up tripping, falling down, uh, anything hard back here, it's gonna go right into your spine and that doesn't feel good. Guys, the more stuff you fit on your belt, the less room you have. Um, so you have to be strategic in where you put your items like this, ASP uh, expandable baton holder, I probably uh, won't wear. I have I have this one that is able to cant, so you slide in the baton here, and I'm able to cant it so it's out of the way, it's not jamming into my hip, and it's kind of on an angle. And I use that in front, because I don't like anything behind my gun. I just don't like the idea of something being behind my gun in case I have to get it out of the holster fast and it's blocking me from getting it out. So this holster, I'm trying it out. It's a Black Hawk holster. I personally am probably gonna go back to the Safari Land holster. I really don't like anything that has a mechanism that I have to rely on. See that I have to push this button in order for it to pop out. I don't like to have that in case something gets stuck in there. I have seen some videos where actually gravel has gotten stuck in the mechanism preventing it from opening up. And if you need your gun, you wanna be able to get it out of your holster probably the worst feeling in the world not being able to get that gun out of the holster. There are some other items that can go on your belt like this pepper spray mace holder. Um, I choose not to carry this on my belt. You have a choice of choosing two intermediate less lethal weapons which I chose the ASP and the taser but you're also issued a can of mace. I personally don't prefer to carry this. This stuff is nasty. Also, another thing that I mentioned were these tactical earrings, which are not really tactical earrings, uh, but these are used to either carry a large mag light or one of these, a PR24, or commonly known as a nightstick. So you just slide this bad boy in here, and this would latch on your belt loop. Now, I personally never used one of these when I got on the department 11 years ago. Um, they had no longer carried these. We were issued something similar to this um, for civil disturbances, AKA riots. Uh, if there's something that went on in the city, we would use these um, to kind of get the crowd back if they were agitated, you know, push them back or however we needed to go. And lastly, 
This is a key holder for your duty belt. Now I never wore one of these. I always tuck the key into my mag pouch. Um, but the way that this works is you would put your keys on this key ring and then this would act as a door to close up. You would Velcro them and you would attach this to your duty belt. The reason for this is so you don't have your keys out. They're jingling and making noise. You don't want that going on while you're walking around the house that's possibly being burglarized or you're looking for an offender out that's hiding in a bush. You don't want to make any unnecessary noise while you're searching for a subject in a house or anything. You don't want to give up your position. It's just to have a tactical advantage. So this right here is a very good item to have on your belt. All right, guys, that was my first duty belt tour review. Um, if you guys have any questions or you have anything that you want to see or you want this further explained, please put it in the comments below. This is my first time doing a duty belt review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. There's going to be tons of new content coming up to this channel. I'm going to take this thing off because this just reminds me like I'm at work and I, I'm off. I'm off. Oh, yeah, that's much better. If you guys have any videos that you want me to make or any questions that you want me to answer, put them down in the comments below. All right, Nod Squad, if you're new to the channel, what's up? Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that thumbs up button. So guys, you know the Nod Squad sign off. I'll see you when I see you. And if I don't see you, then I'll see you.